Hello friends, welcome to Developers YouTube channel. My name is Ismail Sodagar and today in this video I am going to explain you about inbuilt delegates in C Sharp. So in my last video I have explained you about what are the delegates, how to declare the delegates, how to instantiate the delegates. So these are the manual delegates which we create for our requirement that is the customized delegates. But there are a number of other delegates also which is already present so we will discuss it. Let's go to our topic. There are mainly three types of inbuilt delegates in C Sharp. So there are three types of inbuilt delegates and all of the threes are generic delegates. Generic we will discuss in detail but the generic delegates you can understand for now is that they can take any type of data, any data type as a parameter they can take. There is no already defined delegate that, that the particular delegate will take this type of data only like integer or string. So they are generic delegate, they can take any type of parameter or any data type of parameter which is having any data type. So this is called generic delegate. So now we'll discuss the generic delegates, action, function and predicate. These are the three delegates. Now we'll go to action delegate. So it is a delegate which is used for calling the method which returns void or which does not return any value. Voids we use as a return type for the method which does not return any value. It is present in system namespace and it is initialized by using the new keyword and after that we assign the method to it. So new keyword like uh, we instantiate the class, we create the object of the class. Similarly, we can create the object of the delegate and we can use new keyword like we write new delegate and then after that the name of the, the method which we want to assign to that particular delegate object or other method is that we can directly assign we can create the variable of the delegate like suppose i'm having delegate del1 so i will create del1 d equals to and the name of the method so it will be the instantiation instantiation of the method now uh, the action method ha can have 0 to 16 input parameters means it is having 16 overloads and the next thing is it can be used with anonymous method or lambda expression so we can use for assigning or for initializing any object of the delegate. We can assign it named method also or anonymous method also or lambda expression. Method with lambda expression also we can assign to the delegate object. So delegates are generally used for calling the method as we have seen in our earlier videos. Here I have given one example that is uh, of the action delegate. Here I am writing the action name of the delegate then here i'm specifying the parameter it is taking means this console print will take one parameter as of type integer so here i have given int because this takes one parameter and after that print action del is the name of the object of the delegate this this delegates object is this now we'll go to our next delegate that is func delegate so func delegate is also an inbuilt delegate it is used for calling the method that returns the value. It is same as action delegate except it is used for calling the method that returns value. It is present in system namespace and it can take up to 16 input parameters but it is having 17 overloads. Predicate is another type of inbuilt delegate and it is used for calling the method that returns the boolean value. Used for calling the method who returns bool as a return type. It takes only one input parameter and returns the boolean value. There is only one predicate delegate and it does not have any overloads. It is also present in the system name space. Now we'll go to our next topic. We'll see the code example of the inbuilt delegates in Visual Studio. So Visual Studio, I have created one project. Name of the project is delegates in C Sharp. Uh, and this project contains one program.cs file. This program.cs file contains the class program. So this program class here, you can see that I have created or declared four delegates here. So the, num the number one delegate is add numbers delegate. This delegate I'm using for calling the method which takes two input parameter, adds the parameter and returns the addition as a in as integer data type. So I'm using this add numbers delegate for calling add numbers method. Another one is print message delegate. It takes it is used for calling the method that takes one parameter of type string and it is not returning any value it will it will only as the name indicates take the message and it will print the message 
another delegate is is number delegate which returns boolean value and it takes the string as a parameter and the last and the last delegate is get full name delegate so this get full name delegate will call a method that will take two parameters of type string and it will concatenate and return the string at last it will return the string as a return type so now in the class i have also created the four method which i want to call by using these delegates here you can see that i have created print message it is used for the printing it is used for printing the message on the screen another one is add to numbers it takes two integer parameters and it adds the parameters and return the addition the next one is is number delegate it, sorry is number method it takes this number in the form of string and check whether it is a number or not and it returns true or false depending on the result now the next one is get full name method it takes two string parameters first name last name and it returns a string as a and it is having a string as a return type so here i am concatenating first name plus last name and returning the full name so these were all the four methods now in the static void in the static method in the main method I am creating the object of class program and the name of the object is p because I want to access these methods add two numbers print message get full name and is number because these are instance method and for accessing instance method we need the instance or object of the method so here I am writing p dot add two numbers so here you can see that I am creating the object of add two numbers delegate the name of the object is add two numbers del and here for instantiating this object i'm assigning add two numbers method p dot add two numbers similarly print for print message delegate i'm uh, creating the object print message del and assigning print message method to it uh, and the next one is get full name del this is the object of get full name delegate and i'm assigning get full name method and the last one is, is number delegate i have created this object is number del and directly assign the method to it the another one for uh, the another method for creating the delegate is by using the new keyword but for simplicity i have directly assigned the methods to the delegate object i am calling the method by using the delegate we can use the invoke method of the delegate and for calling the method and here you can see that i am using add two numbers del dot invoke this is the delegate object and i am using invoke method and passing two integer parameter 20 comma 50 so it will return 70 and 70 I'm, I will store in the addition and I'll print on the screen. And here I'm calling the print print message method by using print message del object and using the invoke method of this delegate and I'm passing string as hello world. So it will be printed on the screen. Hello world. Next one is I'm getting the full name by calling the method get full name and here using I'm using get full name delegate and directly passing the parameter. So both the method using the invoke method or directly passing the parameter by using the delegate object is also correct and i am taking full name here and printing on the screen and here i am using is number delegate object for calling the is number method and i am providing the parameter as 10 in the string format so the result in the true or false whether it is number or not this is string it will uh, it will be written and it will be stored here and i will print on the screen so this is the earlier method of declaring and initializing now i will run this program and we will first see the output on the screen see on the screen the addition of two numbers 70 hello world is the print message method called and it is it is printing hello world full name is smile sodagar and the is number is returning true that is printed on the console so this is about the earlier methodology which we do for like first declaring the delegate and then instantiating it now i will use in place of this i will use inbuilt delegates which is our current topic so i will delete this declaration because we already have inbuilt delegates so as soon as i delete we'll get four errors that these are not declared as we know that for calling the method which returns the value we use func delegate so i will remove this and i will write here func and I will give the parameters. You can see that it is having 17 overloads. So my add two numbers take two integers. So I will pass two integer parameter and it returns one integer value. So at last the 
type of the data it is returning so that type int int two integer numbers and this is the addition which will be returned which is of type int so it is correct so here in one line we have instantiated this delegate object by using the method and here we are using inbuilt delegates not you so this is one advantage now next method is print message and it does not return any value so for print message we will use action delegate it is also inbuilt and we need to pass the parameter print message takes one string parameter so we need to write the type of parameter data type so here we will write string and it does not return any value so nothing will come after this first parameter so this is also correct and get full name returns a string so it is also value returning so here we will again use func and we'll pass the type of parameter so it is taking two string parameters and it is also returning string data type that is full name and at last i am having is number delegate so it returns boolean as a value so for for calling this is number method we'll use predicate we have predicate delegate predicate and uh, predicate is only one delegate it does not have any overloads so it will only take the input parameter of the method so is number is having string type of input parameters i have given here and it is also correct so here the all the errors are gone and it is similar to our earlier code but here there is no need of declaring manually the delegates so in build delegates we have used func action and predicate now there will be no change will come in the output it will work as it was uh, working previously so i will run this program again and i will show you and here on the screen you can see that it is printing the same output as it was print on the screen you can see that the output is as it is as it was earlier now we'll go to our next slide so our last screen is the summary screen so today we have covered in build delegates and in build delegates we have seen action function and predicate delegates our to next topic will be passing method as a parameter and creating custom event handler using delegates we will see and i want to say you that i have added the playlist link in the description of my video so you can go to the playlist link and you can watch more c sharp videos so at last i want to say that please like share and subscribe to my channel Thank you. Bye.